right, hi everyone. Thanks for having me. Like she said, my name is Leah English and I work with Dr. Jenny Pop at the Center for Agricultural and Rural Sustainability. We're over in Fayetteville. Um, I've been working with Dr. Pop for a couple of years on some interactive fruit budgets. Um, we're going to focus today on blackberries, but as you'll see, we also have budgets for different types, strawberries, blueberries, we even have apples and raspberries. Um, so what we talk about here with the blackberries uh, you can, they're transferable to those other types of budgets as well. Um, so just to talk a little bit about fruit production budgets. Uh, so these are essentially tools that you can use to assess your costs and revenues associated with the production of the different crops. Um, so they just kind of allow you to go through and look at what everything's costing, what you can expect to make, and kind of get an idea of what you can expect uh, your operation to profit on based on what you put in the budget. Traditionally, these are paper-based, um, and they required a large amount of information for you to start with to get a really accurate budget. But what we've tried to do is create some tools to help make this a little bit easier for producers to kind of estimate what their budget's going to be and make decisions based on these estimations. Um, so we've got these interactive budgeting tools. They're all computer-based, and they allow you to specify some input um, but it's not as many as if you had to go through and actually write out the entire budget yourself. So we use this tool to kind of help you um, go through and make it a little bit easier. Um, and it makes the calculations for you automatically as opposed to you have to go through and run the numbers yourself. Um, they are, uh, we try to make them as user friendly as possible. We try to make it to where you don't have to have as much computer knowledge and like knowledge of spreadsheets and things like that. And we try to make it to where you don't have to put as much initial data and numbers in there for you to get a lot of benefit out of the tool. And something we've also added is decision, a lot of decision support options. So we have some options on there and you'll see a little bit later on um, where we help you do a lot of different types of economic analyses so you can um, kind of make better decisions for your farm. And so these are the tools we currently have available and you can get these on our website. Uh, so the acronym for our group is called CARS, C-A-R-S, and if you go to www.cars.uart.edu, you can access our website, go to the specialty crop section, and you can download any of these budgets on there. So like I said, we've got apple, strawberry, blackberry, raspberry, and blueberry budgets available to use. Um, and if you want to email me as well, um, you can email me at cars at uart.edu, and I can send you the link to the budget or send you a copy of the budget. Um, so the objective today is to describe the benefits of our decision tools and walk you through some examples uh, using our BlackBerry budget. So with traditional budgets, like I said, um, not only are they paper-based and a little bit, uh, it takes a lot to kind of get them going. Um, generally, they only calculate net returns for one year. And even they do have some Excel programs out there to help you, but it's generally the same case. It'll be for only one year and they're estimated on a one acre basis. And what we've done with ours is we've tried to add some additional options um, to these budgets. And so you can kind of see, we'll break down some of the different capabilities that our tool has. Um, so ours do do the annual calculations, but for most of the budgets, you can also look at multi-year calculations. And you can also change up the farm size. So maybe you're not going to grow just one acre of blackberries. Maybe you're just going to have half an acre or a quarter of an acre. Our tool does those calculations for you based on whatever your farm size is. Um, we also look at high tunnel versus field production systems. So you can estimate the cost of using those different types of production systems. And then, like I said, we also add uh, the different types of economic analysis. Um, so break even sensitivity and risk analyses. And we'll talk about that here in a second. And so just going over that again, um, we do show some multi-year values. So in addition to just those annual returns, you can calculate all of the net returns. With the BlackBerry budget, I believe we go seven years out. So you can look out seven years, what can you expect your returns are going to be. Um, and then you can vary, uh, have variable farm sizes, like I said. And then, so here's with some of the economic analyses. Um, we can calculate the break-even point. So that's the point. So you start your farm and initially you're going in or you want to start growing blackberries. You're going to have some costs that you have up front. And so what our tool does is it shows you, okay, so you've got all these costs that you're accumulating from year to year. When is this operation going to break even? When, are, when is your revenues going to cover your costs? And so that'll tell you, you know, what year um, can you expect your, this operation to break even? 
Um, and it can be calculated for price. So you can look at, okay, what price are my blackberries selling at that would give me this break-even point? Or the yields, what yields do I need to obtain to break even in a certain amount of time? And so, yeah, this just kind of goes through a quick calculation of how we would get the break-even price. So if you know, uh, you estimate your yield and you know what your costs are, at what price do you need to sell your blackberries um, in order to break even? And so the calculation, we would do your total cost uh, divided by your expected average yield, and that would tell you what price that you would need on average to sell your blackberries in order to break even. And a similar uh, calculation goes with yield. So if you have certain market prices for your blackberries and you, have your, you know what cost, uh, you can determine what yield you would need on average to break even. And you'll see this in the example that I'm going to show you. Um, so another type of analysis is a sensitivity analysis. And we call this the what if analysis. So you can go through your budget, you can put down what you expect to happen, but then also later on you can go in and look at, well, this is what I expect to happen, but what if something else happens? What if the yields that I estimate are actually higher or lower? And what if the prices are higher or lower? So this is kind of a neat thing that you can go in and play around with. You can look at what you expect and then also go in and say, well, what if something else happened um, that we didn't expect and see what are your returns gonna come out of that? And then we also offer a risk analysis, which this is actually something pretty cool. And basically this looks at the probabilities. So say um, when you have your operation, you wanna earn $10,000 uh, based on your BlackBerry operation. So what this does is it goes through, it runs the calculations and it looks at, okay, well, what's the probability that I'll earn 10,000 in a certain amount of time? And so you can look at that and you can kind of play with this and change this around and see, you know, oh, well, I want to earn this much. What's my probability for that? And I'll show you that here in a second as well. And so the importance of this tool is that basically it allows growers to make more <laughs> informed decisions. They can put these different predictions and things in this tool and they can see, okay, what outcome can I expect from this? Um, yeah, so you can estimate your yields and your prices and your costs and your revenues. Um, and it allows you to hypothetically uh, look at these things without actually having to go through and find out afterwards, you know, oh, well, this is how much I was going to make. I didn't know. So this allows you to look ahead of time and see what you can expect to make. And so here is the example we're going to run through and I'll, you get to have a look at our budgets. So when you open the budget, um, this is going to be the first page that you see. And on this page, uh, one of the things you might want to check out is our user guide. We have a link there to take you to the user guide, and the user guide will go through everything and um, explain how everything works and kind of walk you through some different steps. Um, if the link on the budget doesn't work, uh, if you get on the website, there's also a link to a PDF on the website as well. And another button that I think is pretty important on this page is the help button. And this basically just gives you kind of a quick start run of what to do and just walks you through some of the basic steps to get started. And you'll notice on every page, I'm pretty sure every page has a help button that kind of explains what's going on with that page. So you can always go to that if you need some help. Um, but the most important button on here is this green one uh, that says user input. Uh, so you go here, this is where you'll go to input your kind of your starting estimations um, and some initial data. And so in the BlackBerry budget, you have the choice between field production. So if you're going to grow your BlackBerries in the open field or if you plan on growing them under the high tunnel. So you'll just select whether you're going to do field or high tunnel production. And then it'll bring up this screen. So this is our first, you know, our input screen. And it'll have these numbers already in it. And these numbers are just kind of some default numbers. Um, so we have some researchers up in Fayetteville and other places and growers that we've worked with to kind of get these are kind of specific to Arkansas, um, but they're actually a little bit old. And we're updating these right now. So if you come back in a probably a month or two on the website, we'll have our updated numbers. Um, but for all of these numbers, you can edit them yourselves. This just kind of gives you a place to start, kind of an idea of what we're looking for in here. So you can go through and pick your cultivar. Um, you can put your planting distance, um, how many plants you're going to have per row and the space in between the rows. Um, and then that variable number three is going to be how many acres that you're planning to grow. 
Um, so yeah, you just go through each of these fields and you can either leave the default values there or you can put in, if you know some of these values, you can go in and actually put in your own values. And once you're finished, once you've got everything entered, you will hit that green run button. Oh, actually, sorry. That's what it looked like with the field production. If you chose the field production option, um, the only difference between the field production and the high tunnel is you can see here they have values for the trellis system and irrigation system. And if you click on the high tunnel production, it also has a section there for you to put in the cost of building your high tunnel. Um, so once you get that done, you'll hit run. And it'll bring up a results screen. And so this is where you really get to see a lot of cool information. It'll automatically generate spreadsheets based on that little bit of information you entered up front. And uh, it'll show you your total costs, your gross revenues, your net revenues, your fixed costs, your variable costs, and then kind of some graphs for you to be able uh, to look at. And I know this page looks really bad, uh, but this just kind of gives you a run through of some of the results that you'll get out of there. Um, and we're going to go through some of these for you to see a little bit better here in a second. But um, we'll give you the overall estimated budget. So it's a, it generates a big spreadsheet with different costs that you might have. Um, and then it'll give you a summary and a graphical summary. So that's what these are. So here is an example of one of the spreadsheets that you can bring up. So this is going to be your estimated budget. And what it does here is it breaks down each year. So the first year we start with is your soil preparation. And then we have your establishment where you would uh, plant your plants. And then you've got, goes into your production years, one, two, three, four, five. So this covers basically seven years total. Um, and what you can do is you can look, it'll show your estimated returns for each year, and it'll show all of your variable costs and your fixed costs. But if you click at the button at the top of each of those, it'll go even further into the budget and you can see more of a breakdown um, of the cost. And this is also where you can customize it. So you might look at this and say, well, $99 for fertilizer doesn't sound right to me for my farm. And then you can go in there and actually uh, customize and put in what you think your actual fertilizer or ground cover or harvest or labor costs are going to be. But this just kind of gives you a place to start. Um, so here's what happens when you click on that soil preparation button. Um, and here you can change, uh, you can add different costs in there if you like, and then you can put your quantities and your prices. So if you know, you can go in here and see, well, fish meal doesn't cost that much for me. Um, here's what my cost and quantity of fish meal or organic fertilizer or anything here. So you can really go in and customize this. This just kind of gives you a starting point. Um, and then once you change anything in these budgets, it'll automatically update in the different uh, graphs and things like that. So it'll update all across the budget if you go into these pages and make these changes. And so outside of the spreadsheets, um, like I said, we also have these economic analysis tools to help you make more decisions for your farm. So those will just basically show your general cost and your revenues breakdown for each year. Um, but these actually go in a little bit deeper. And so this is the break-even analysis that we talked about. So once you go in, if you click the economic analysis button and go to break-even analysis, this is the screen that'll pop up. And I know it looks a little bit complicated, but basically what it shows, if you look at the first, the top graph, um, you've got the green line, and that's your gross returns over the course of these years. And then you've also got your red line for your total costs, and then that gets break it up broken up into your variable and your fixed cost. But really, you just want to focus on the green lines and the red lines. Um, and where those lines cross, that's where your revenues are going to offset your cost. So that's where you break even. And on here, you can see uh, it's going to break even around the three-year mark. And actually, it, it, it's a little misleading because it starts at year zero. So really, like into your third year is when you're going to break even. And then that graph at the bottom, it just shows a breakdown over the course of these seven years, um, what you can expect your gross returns and your costs to be. And then the important one really is your net returns, because that's going to be over the course of the whole time that takes your revenues minus your costs. And so over seven years, you can expect in this example, um, your net returns are going to be about $46,292. And that's that yellow bar over there. Um, within the break-even analysis screen, we also have a little table at the bottom, 
And it kind of goes over this again, all these numbers in a table form. Um, so you show your total gross returns and all of your costs. And then you can go in here and see your break-even points as well. Um, so you can look over the full period, uh, over seven years. So, okay, so this top one, it shows over seven years. If you want to break even at seven years, you would need to sell. Uh, it shows the price and the yield that you would need to have to break even at seven years. So um, your market price here would be 250 your processed price would be 55 cents. So if you sold your blackberries for $2.50 on the fresh market, you sold them at the processed market for 55 cents, you would need that minimum price to break even at seven years. Um, and then the bottom part shows with our specific example, with the price that we entered and the yields that we entered, it shows your enterprise will break even after three years. And then the total revenues, um, the total gross returns to break even, you'll have to make $44,232. Um, and so this is, got, you, you kind of play around with it. You kind of see which, you know, depending on this price or that price, what am I going to break even at? So it's kind of a cool thing um, to look at and see when you can expect to start making um, some significant profit. And so this is going to be the sensitivity analysis. So this is that second economic tool we talked about. And this is the what if. Um, you know, what if my yields are actually higher in this example than I expected? And what if the market price um, for the fresh market is higher than I expected? Um, so here we're going to look at two scenarios. So our first scenario is going to kind of be our baseline. So initially in year one, um, we're going to say that our yield is 2.5 pounds per plant. And if you run the model like this, with 2.5 pounds per plant in the first year, uh, you can see that your net returns you can expect are $16,170. Um, and then if you run a different analysis, and all we've done in this one is change our yield in that first year from uh, 2.5 pounds up to three pounds um, per plant that year, and you can see how your returns have increased over there. So it's increased from that first example from $16,170 to $20,276. So you can just go through and make some changes and just see how these small changes in yield or price can affect your overall returns for your um, uh, farm. And then with the risk analysis, so this is the third analysis, um, it calculates the risks associated with your operation by entering uh, a little bit of information. So it'll walk you through, I think this PowerPoint goes through each step. Um, so it'll go through these steps that you enter. So um, in this example, uh, you're gonna enter your expected uh, minimum, most likely, and maximum yield. Um, so that's just something you, you would need to figure out. And we do start with default values. So you put, okay, well, this is probably my minimum, most likely maximum, and then, um, here you're going to put in how much for year one through five, how much of your fruit is likely going to go to fresh market, how much of it might go into the processed market, um, and how much of it will be cooled. And this is percentages. So you just kind of go and estimate how much are you going to sell at the farmer's market or sell to distributors versus processing versus cooling. And then it'll ask you your minimum, most likely, and maximum price for your fresh market fruit. And again, we'll have some defaults you can use or you can enter in um, what you think these will be. And then we do it for your processed markets. Uh, same thing, minimum, most likely, maximum for each year. And then here you can estimate what percentage you want to increase your total cost. So this is just kind of to give an estimation. If you think your cost might be go up a little bit or go down, you can put that percentage in. And then this is where you say, okay, uh, this is what I want to receive after five years of production. What is What are the chances that I'm going to make $10,000 based on this information that I've put in and based on what we have in the budget? What's the What are the odds that I'm going to make this much money? And so what this will show you, um, it has this at the top. It'll show, so in our example, um, the probability of obtaining a value equal or greater than $10,000 is 76.8% in this example. And it shows that there's a 95% chance that you're probably going to make between $15,081 and $18,720. So 
I mean, these are not exact. It's just a probability. Um, but it says basically based on what you've entered, more than likely you're going to make between about fifteen and nineteen thousand um, dollars. And this is really good for your own knowledge, but it's also good for going to banks and asking for loans and things like that. They like to see things like this, whether it's going to be a risky investment or less risky investment. Um, they like to see you know things like this. And what this tool also does is you can start out with a baseline, and then you can also say, well, um, what if my costs are going to increase. What if my costs happen to increase by 10%? What's that going to look like? And so in this example, you can see in the previous example, uh, your probability of making $10,000 was 76.8%. If your costs increase by 10%, that brings your probability significantly down. So now the probability of obtaining $10,000 is 23.2%. And your actual net present average lies between $1,614 and $5,252. So you can see that that really brought um, your chances for higher revenues down. And it'll show the two lines. So that first line was your original one. That red line is the second scenario. And you want the line that's going to be further to the right because that means you're making more money. And so as you can see, that first scenario <coughs> is going to be your best case. And yeah, that's what this talked about. There are a lot to this tool. Um, there are a lot of things you can do with it, but at the same time, it can answer some simple questions. You can look just year to year. You can use it as an annual budget. Um, but we hope to make it flexible, so depending on what you need, you can kind of choose what you want to use and what you don't want to use. And, yeah, here's the actual link to uh, the budget. Um, so if you have that in the handout and you type this into your uh, address bar, you can come up to the actual screen with the budgets. Or like I said, you can Google cars, um, uh, fruit budgets, and it should bring up a link to that if you Google that. And like I said, this is going to be updated this fall, so we're working on getting the new numbers in to make it a little bit more specific. It will be specific to Arkansas, um, but it really can be used uh, by anyone, anywhere, if you kind of have an estimation of what you think your numbers are going to be. And so if you need more information, you've got all of our info.